Now, Ghana is still struggling to bring the spread of COVID-19 under control. In one week, the country has recorded 15 new deaths, with 33 more in critical condition. Here is head of the health desk here, Joy News for Smith, breaking down for us the COVID-19 infection numbers in Ghana over the last week. The week under review started on the 3rd of February at a case count of 70,768. In the latest update capturing events on the 10th of February, there are a total of 75,836 cases, a difference of 5,068. In terms of deaths, the figure at the start of the week was 457. Since then, as many as 76 persons have died, bringing the death toll to 533. The active cases have also increased by 1,862, bringing the current active cases to 8,836. There are more than 100 severe cases and 33 persons in critical condition. In terms of the second wave, what has become clear to us is that we are under a lot more pressure than the previous wave. Reason being that the number of moderately ill people, severe to critically ill people, has increased within the second wave. Mm. And that is one major characteristic of the second wave. So you need a lot more time, you need a lot more human resources as in personnel to man the various health facilities that are undertaking care of the seriously and critically ill patients. And that is what is actually uh, putting a lot more strain on us. Mind you, for us as doctors, beyond COVID, we also have the non-COVID cases to manage. So as it stands now, the situation is not the best. The good thing about this is that the first wave gave us the opportunity to have some first-hand or real hands-on you know, approaches and we were also able to develop our own unique approach to handling the disease within the confines of what we have as a people. Mm -hmm. So in that regard, I would say we've developed some expertise, practical expertise, I mean, by way of what we did during the first wave. Okay. And that has also helped us under these circumstances. But by and large, we need as a people to ensure that we don't increase the numbers or we don't add on to the numbers as we are doing now because we know very well that our healthcare system is not that robust, especially when they come to care for the severely and critically ill patients. We are basically stretched and uh, we don't have to lose our guard such that we get a lot more people becoming infected. You're still watching The Pulse with me, Gifty and Rapia. So far, we're looking at the COVID-19 numbers. We're looking at the implications. We're looking at the vaccination program, which looks pretty much close.